So John, what's the deal with the apocalypse? Oh, uh, you know, I uh, I walk down the street and people walk up to me and they say to me, hey, John, what, what's the deal with the apocalypse? And uh, I say to them, hey, you know, I'm just an ordinary guy. You know, I don't know about the apocalypse. You know, I don't, I don't know anything. Uh, I'm just an, a regular guy living life day by day. You know, I, uh, I'm in the present moment. You know, I had my whole run around with all of that. You know, there was a time when maybe I'd say things and all that. But I'm, uh, I'm pretty well settled down. And uh, with my wife, we have a very beautiful life and I'm I'm in the present moment and I'm you know having a good time and uh I'm not too worried about any of that and uh I don't I don't know anything and I don't really think anyone knows anything and I'm just happy to be alive I think the world's a beautiful and perfect place but I focus on being alive here now and uh yeah I don't know I and I wish people would just not worry about it frankly Makes sense. Um, what do you worry about, John? I don't. I don't worry about anything. I, r I really don't. I mean, sometimes uh, my mind starts thinking, should I worry about something? But whenever my mind starts thinking, I I remind it, no, you shouldn't. You know, that's. I think that's what people need to do when their mind starts thinking, should I worry? You need to tell it, no, I don't. Don't worry. Nothing. You know, because. Uh, like Jesus said, uh, can can you make your life longer by worrying? You can't, you know. You just uh, worrying doesn't help. It's uh, doing things. You know, action is how you make things happen. You know, don't don't talk about it or worry about it. You gotta live. You know, you, you know. So yeah, it really matters. So John, the other day you were talking to me about the golden formula. I kind of got the gist of it, but not really. I was wondering if you could share with us what that's all about. Well, yeah, the golden formula is uh, something I came up with when uh, with my music. Uh, once I had quit all the bands, were bands I was pretty much just writing music for different drummers I was playing with, and. Uh, I had always had an idea of the reverse rock beat, where uh, instead of the rock beat, boom, pop, boom, pop, I thought, well, well, let's play pop, boom, pop, boom. And I was doing that for a while. Once I had started playing solo, and I was really into that, and people hated it. They're, oh, this is, this is nothing. <laughs> and, uh, and I, you know, I had thought, well, I should expand on this. And I thought, well, what if... Uh, I thought that snare, those cymbals on one instead of the bass, I, I liked that. Because it's kind of like instead of boom, like, yes, one, you know, this is about us, you know. I thought, that's good. It's like, let's grab something on one and bring it down into our hearts, you know. And more of like a receiving our hearts kind of beat, you know. And I liked that realization. I think I uh, showed that you can do that. But once I thought of playing uh, silence on one, I noticed that, uh, once I thought of uh, that, I noticed it works better with, uh, instead of those two two-tone rhythms, I thought of it with three-tonal rhythms. And that was, uh, that opened a whole new avenue. And I started making three-tonal rhythms in maybe 10-4, always with silence on one and stuff like, uh, like, do 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 one do 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 and uh you know as I had that's a good groove, you know, and that and then I thought that's uh pretty dancey. And it sounded good. And I thought what what if I really try to bring the uh the microscope in here and bring it into 4-4 four, four, and that would make us want to dance again because with all the bands I was doing crazy mathematical you know weird time signatures and that's all fun and all and we can look really fancy but 
that doesn't make you want to dance like four does, you know? And then I was doing the golden, you know, I call it the golden formula in four, where I thought, you know, I could uh, just sing or do horns on one, and then just maybe just do the snare on two, and then do bass on three and four. Hey, like, that's a totally cool groove. I could do a whole album, like, like, la, boom, boom, la, boom, boom, la, boom, boom. And I just would do whole songs. I'm like, this is great. You know, I was like, we should just all play like this now. I mean, it's kind of like a fucked up waltz almost. Like, yeah, you know, but and and you can, yeah, and then you got that extra beat and it's that new dance. Yeah, yeah. and uh, and that uh, once I was doing that, I thought it becomes where the snare was only on two, and then I thought well, we could do it where the snare is first on two, and next measure on three. Uh, hey, that's interesting. And then eventually I figured out you can do all kinds of things where uh, doing the, that singing only on one, I, th I figured out you can do the singing. singing only on the ands. And it got to this, uh, this, this off-kilter rhythm where I was making this shift where it got to this rhythm that was like, you know, and that that's four four, but it's switching. It starts on the and silence is one silence there's one on there's silence on one there. Sorry. Silence on one, and it's always starting on the ands, but first it's the hi-hat on the ands, and then there's a snare either on, there's a snare either on one, two, three, or four, and then there's a fill, and then it'd be bass on the ands, snare on, you know, and so it goes, and it became more and more complex until I realized eventually that, uh, you know, playing on the, on the, Making that shift, I, I eventually realized, after pretty much losing my mind, and I ended up in the psych ward, I figured out, well, what I've realized here is, uh, when bands these days start, they count out one, two, three, four, and I figured out what they mean by that is, all right, everybody hears the superior one, two, three, four, because they think of that four as more important than the fours next to it. They give that four more attention. And I realize there's there's not there's a flaw in that, you know, and because really there's they're counting one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and I realize those E andas are just as much as a four as that first one. And so I started when I was in the psych ward, I was like, I gotta figure this out. Because I realized in my head, I realized you could consider those eandas mathematically as just as important as the first one. And I realized you could take three tones and scatter them totally mathematically even among all fours. And I realized I could figure this out mathematically, but I was basically losing it. And I had pneumonia, and I was just a wreck. Mm -hmm. And I had to quit smoking weed, and it was just... bad. Anyway, I figured it out when I was in the psych ward. What I did was I would write one, 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 two, 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 three, three, you know, four fours next to each other. And I'd always have silence on one still. And I would do it to where uh, I'd have the three tones and it would be maybe be like, it would be like this where first I'd, I'd think of like uh, I do it all at one time, and it'd be like, so you'd say silence is at first on the one of the first four ones, and then in the next four twos, there'd be silence on the fourth two. On the next four threes, there'd be silent on the silence on the second four threes, and on the next four fours, there'd be silence on the third four. You know, it'd be totally scattered. It wouldn't be si there wouldn't be silence on the same. And anyway. As you can see, nothing will be on the same number tw twice. Uh, mathematically, 
totally scattered. So basically, the four fours were completely hidden. But I had try been trying to hide the four, and basically I got to the point where it was completely hidden, and I was treating all four fours with as much respect as possible. Mm-hmm. And what I had realized eventually, here, and I had made these these melodies and these patterns. Uh, that were that turned out to be these kind of just kind of interesting patterns and melodies like uh, like boom pat pat boom boom pat pat like we're going to the zoo to see some elephant and it's just like and it, you know and it, it makes these catchy and then eventually I turned into the tritonal sort of uh, linear drum beats like uh, you know. Uh, and that's what I'm doing now, and, uh, and that's about as, you know, and realizing those those uh, really upward grooves with the, uh, those linear upward grooves, that's, that's like kind of where I got, and now I'm basic, but basically with this album, The Wizard, is basically the keyboard mostly doing those uh, those those rhythms with uh, where it's totally scattered, and the djembe just plays on the middle tone, mm-hmm. and so. And so which ones? Have, okay, I, I have a couple of questions. All right. So you got because I've seen the four ones, the four twos, the four threes, and four fours, right? right? And I've seen your markings that you make on top to signify the different tones, right? But when you count them, are you counting like? In order, like in that line of order, one, 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 two, 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 three, 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 or are you just going like one, two, three, four, and then the second one, two, three, four, and then the third one, two, three, four? Like, are you going straight across a line? I imagine you are, but I would just want to make mean? sure. What do you mean by that? So, like, when you write it on the paper, you make four ones, you draw four ones, and then you draw four twos, you draw four threes, and then four fours. Do you, and then you put the tones on top. Is that the order that the music happens in? It's or does it jump from one one to the first two to the first three to the first four? Goes back to the second oh, one. Oh, that's the order so it plays. It plays. It just nice. plays straight. Okay. Yeah, it could, it would uh, go in that order. It's, okay. It's like the 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 four ones. That's one e n. Mm-hmm. It counts like that. Uh, yeah. yeah. A little on the more, I guess less technical side like there's a very deep rejection of the one right what does the, what does the one represent to you like what oh well to me all my life i've just been so sick and tired of hearing bass on one it's like this this world has some sick satisfaction with bass drum on one i'm like that just feels like a, a kick in the gut to me i'm like that doesn't feel good that doesn't feel like music to me i don't hear that in my head i don't feel that way and so I, I just just play silence on one for the rest of your life, so maybe the world can feel a little better, you know? Like, I don't, you know what is I mean? it about is it about elevating what you want to hear, or is it about making the standard of the world a little more uncomfortable? Like, more because I mean, there's a lot of comfortable and there's a lot of comfort on the like accent on one, right? I feel like people feel that like four on the floor music, dance music, especially with like the hats on the ants, like you were saying before. But when you reject the one, when you take it away from the world, is that something you're doing against them or for you? Oh, for them and for everyone. <laughs> okay. And for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like John th- Nash, I wouldn't you know? think you, were in the, you, you would be doing anything against anyone. I don't think I've ever oh, seen no, you. Not, <laughs> not against anyone, no. <laughs> for me, for everyone, for everything. You know, I'm all, I'm all for everybody, you know. It's so everybody can feel good. Because I think taking a step back and appreciating everyone helps everyone. What it, all the Silence on One does is take a step back. And what this uh, giving every uh, uh, every count equal, uh, playing them all equally is, is, you know, saying that every heartbeat is equal. And that's also that's that's for the people so that we can feel love again. And the whole the whole uh, idea is for the so the world can 
yeah, so we can feel good. And so, because I'm trying to inspire people and and bring good into the world. And that's uh, I feel like it's supposed to. Yeah, I'm trying to put good vibes out. I put so much, so much effort into everything to put good vibes out. That's all I'm trying to do from the moment I wake up to when I fall asleep to when I'm dreaming. I'm always just trying to put good vibes in the world. That's all I'm ever doing. And uh, sometimes I can't pull it off, but, you know, I want nothing for anybody but to just feel good, you know. So, 